When it comes to Texas, one meat is king, beef. Whether it's hill country brisket or Tex-Mex barbacoa, beef is the meat that defines the Lone Star soul. And nothing makes a Texan's heart beat faster than a perfectly grilled steak. What if you could combine the slow, smoky succulence of barbecued beef with the sanguine sizzle of a ribeye? Get ready for a steak that's both smoked and grilled. I have here a whole beef ribeye. Cut it into steaks that are one and a half to two inches thick. Arrange the steaks on a sheet pan and season generously with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then drizzle with extra virgin olive oil and pat the seasonings into the meat with the flat of a fork. Now turn the ribeyes over and season the other side the same way. Now to the grill. To grill the steaks, I'm using a wood burner. I fired it up with mesquite logs and raised the grill grate high above the fire. This is a two-step grilling process. The first step is to smoke the steaks high above the fire, low heat, so they absorb that fragrant wood smoke. Then we'll lower the grate and sear the steaks over a hot fire. Take your steaks, arrange them on the grill grate. This stage of the smoking process takes about one hour. With our noble ribeyes, crusty smashed potatoes. Start by placing Yukon Golds on two sheets of heavy duty aluminum foil. Dot with butter on top and season with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then fold the foil over the potatoes, bringing in the top and bottom to make a sealed packet. Take the foil potato package and lay it directly on the embers. Roast the potatoes in their foil package for 30 to 40 minutes or until tender, turning the package once so the potatoes roast evenly. We have one final preparation to make, a jalapeno horseradish butter. It starts with a stick of unsalted butter. Add two finely chopped seeded jalapeno chilies a quarter cup of chopped fresh flat leaf parsley, an inch or two of freshly grated horseradish. And with the horseradish, you wanna just peel off this outside skin. Then grate the horseradish into the butter. Now add a little sea salt, freshly ground black pepper. Take a wooden spoon and mash these ingredients together. Now take a sheet of plastic wrap, spread it out on your work surface, and spread the jalapeno horseradish butter on top. Gather the horseradish jalapeno butter up and roll it into a compact cylinder. Then twist the ends, almost like a Tootsie Roll. Chill the butter in the refrigerator until firm. Meanwhile, back to the steaks and potatoes it's time to flip the steaks and smoke the other side the same way. Transfer the potatoes to a sheet pan and let cool for a few minutes. Meanwhile, lower your grill grate. The smoking phase is over and now we're getting ready for the grilling phase. So we've gone from low heat, lots of smoke, to high heat, not so much smoke. Unwrap the roasted potatoes and transfer them to a cast iron skillet. Then using a grill press or other heavy weight, smash the potatoes. Smash the potatoes to about a quarter of an inch thick. Add a little more butter and place the skillet on the grill over high heat. 
Now for your steaks, they are starting to grill nicely. So we'll turn them over. You're constantly watching your meat, moving it from hot spots to cold spots in order to obtain a consistent result. The steaks certainly look cooked. They're crusty, sizzling, browned on the outside. But I always like to check with an instant read meat thermometer. And when you insert the thermometer, insert it through the end of the steak, not from top to bottom. You're looking for 135 degrees for medium rare. That's pretty close. Now, transfer the steaks to a wire rack over a sheet pan. Why a wire rack? You don't want the bottom to get soggy. You have such a beautiful crust here. So a wire rack allows the air to circulate. And here are your smashed potatoes. Take two slices of the jalapeno horseradish butter and place them on the steak. And for the ultimate drama, light a blowtorch and melt the butter into the meat. Well, here's the moment of truth. Let's see how we did. Very tender. Mm. What's amazing about this steak is its architecture. Crusty and smoky on the outside, beefy and tender inside. Imagine steak channeling bacon. That's what this steak tastes like. And I love the way the heat of the jalapeno horseradish butter accents, elevates, embellishes the steak. Now your potatoes. Mm. They too are crusty on the outside, soft, creamy, buttery on the inside. Now that's a potato. So there you have it. Grilled ribeye with jalapeno horseradish butter and smashed potatoes because sometimes to cook the perfect steak, you have to smoke it as well as grill it.